Juan Ignacio Megli has been sailing since he was four, inspired by his father, a three-time Olympian for their country, Guatemala. While still a teenager, Juan won Pan American gold in 2007. A year later, he competed in his first Olympics after qualifying for the laser class of the sailing competition at the Beijing Games. Laser is one of three single-handed Olympic sailing disciplines, and with all laser boats constructed of the same specification, the emphasis is very much on the sailor's skill. Now, Juan's attempting to make history by winning his country's first medal on the world's biggest sporting stage. I really would love to win Guatemala's first Olympic medal. It's something that no one has done before, so to make this happen would mean so much to the country as well as to myself. I realize it would be an historic achievement and it won't be easy, but that's the goal that I've set myself and, with hard work, I know that I can achieve it. That Juan has such ambitions is largely thanks to his involvement with the G4S 14 program. Set up in 2007 by the International Security Group, the project offers financial and pastoral support to aspiring athletes from all over the world. Using their network of contacts, the goal is to help develop talented youngsters into future sporting champions. It has been a big help, especially when I started sailing the laser, as I didn't have the support that I needed in order to train and qualify for the Olympics. Thanks to the backing of G4S, I was able to travel and compete in events like the World Championships. I then managed to qualify, which wouldn't have been possible without their support. We caught up with Juan as he embarked on the latest training opportunity that the program has set up. He spent two days on the south coast of England with members of the British sailing team, meeting and training with some of the best crews from the most successful nation in Olympic sailing history. This included receiving tips from world number one and reigning Olympic laser champion Paul Goodison. G4S are one of the sponsors of Scandia Team GBR. And, uh, and G4S also sponsor WAN, and in, in that way it came about that there'd be some sort of interaction using us both together to, uh, to try and pass on a bit of information. It's, it's fine now, but if it gets too good, then we'll have to be a bit more careful about passing on too much info. After just missing out on a medal in Athens in 2004, Paul won gold in Qingdao, the Olympic sailing venue, four years later. He then cemented his status as the number one laser sailor, winning European and world titles, and was undefeated in competition for a year as he dominated the class. For sure the highlight of my sailing career so far was, was winning in China. I think uh, it meant even more to me after the disappointment of finishing fourth in Athens. I was, I was absolutely devastated and, uh, and almost gave up and, and went, to, went to pursue another career. But, uh, pulled my socks back up, got back on with it and standed on the podium in, uh, in China with a gold medal around my neck made, uh, made it all worthwhile. For Juan, first-hand advice from an Olympic champion could prove invaluable. They spent time at Hailing Island, the venue for the recent World Championships, where Juan finished inside the top 50 for the first time in his career. Peter Walker, laser coach of Team GB's development squad, helped oversee the training day. You're looking for key qualities like determined, gritty, never give up, uh, passionate, and, and, and that ilk of thing. And, and from what I've seen today, he's quite passionate and quite committed to it. I mean, there was a couple of things that happened on the water, and you're looking for, is the response, give up and go home, or is the response, get back into it, get on your horse and keep riding it? I think just, just spending a day from one, it's obviously that he's, uh, he's got the passion in him, he's motivated and, and he wants to do well there. Spending a bit of time chatting to him on the bike, he uh, is always quite interested in what I do and, and what I've done in the past. So uh, he's, he's keen to learn. Um, I think he's definitely got the talent needed because he's, he wouldn't be here if he didn't. Whilst he was in England, Juan also visited Weymouth, the venue for the 2012 Olympic sailing regatta. There, he was given a tour of the facilities that he hopes he'll be using in two years' time. 
He also received invaluable advice and training tips from other members of the British sailing team. The facilities are just tremendous. I think just the fact that the facilities are finished now and we can train in the, uh, in the Olympic Centre at the moment is uh, a fantastic achievement and it's, it's only going to prove, uh, prove good for our success. The facilities are excellent, so I think 2012 will be a great event here. They have everything needed already in place and I think it will be a very well organised competition. Juan also used the time in Weymouth to sail the Olympic course. Before Beijing, non-Chinese athletes were only given two weeks to practice on competition waters and familiarise themselves with the conditions there. By the time the 2012 Olympics begin, Juan will have had opportunities to learn the Weymouth course and gauge its wind patterns. After tasting success at the Pan American Games, he's eager for more honours at international level. It would be a beautiful moment for my country. I remember when I won the Pan Americans in 2007. It was a great experience being on top of the podium, listening to the national anthem. Still in his early 20s, Juan's prime sailing years are ahead of him. The average age of the laser medalists from the last three Olympic Games was 29, so Juan may not peak until at least Rio 2016. However, with his natural talent and support from the G4S project, Juan Ignacio Megli has a better chance than many of achieving his ultimate dream, winning his country's first Olympic medal. I'm 22 and don't have that much experience in laser, but I've had good results so far. I hope that with hard work over the next few years, I will carry on getting ahead. So, when I'm 28 or 30, I'll get to the top and be able to achieve all my goals.